Hello and welcome to Kerala Gram Market. Uh, one second, I think we have an intruder in the room, and that's why the background sound. I'll just wait for a couple of seconds before we have enough chats. We are starting a little late because I'm not in Bangalore. Okay, we are live, and I can see the first few charts. That's awesome. Okay, let me just shift myself to the left and and uh, decrease the size of my camera. Hmm, I wonder how I'll do that. Okay, so yes, I, I, this will be quick because uh, there's nothing much here. But yesterday we said that this indecision is not an obvious shot as it looked to be. There is a trend line, and the trend line might hold. And the bank Nifty is strong, and it will bounce from the um, trend line. Therefore, we said it's not an obvious thing to go short Nifty at this point. Therefore, we should be careful. There might be a bounce back. It's better if we stay away and we can even think of longing if the... Uh, so, basically, if 17500 breaks, it made sense to uh, uh, sell. But otherwise, it did not make sense. Otherwise, the market was looking like it can bounce. So, it looks like we have the bounce scenario playing out. Right? So, overall, good day uh, for people who decided that it's not going to be a breakdown unless it breaks uh, 1700. So what happened today? Uh, very clear chart. So if you look at yesterday's trend line, today's open was at the trend line. Uh, it tried to break but it could not sustain. It went up very clearly and it is now at the top end of the trend line and we have a very tiny rejection wick. But if I magnify this candle formation, we can clearly see that this is either a bullish you can call it a bullish harami or you can call it a hammer. It doesn't matter what you call it. The truth is that from the trend line, there's a rejection, there's a clean wick and there's a body inside the red body, which usually signifies reversal. So if we have a close about today's close tomorrow, then we can have a bullish scenario playing out, right? So there is a very high probability of a resumption of the uptrend if Tomorrow we get a close about today's close. Why? Because it confirms the reversal candle and then it will go all the way. And also we have seen this trend line holding very beautifully. Uh, right? That is point number one. If you look at Bank Nifty also, you can see yesterday we drew this trend line. You can see how perfectly it is bouncing from the bottom of the trend line. Clean rejection wake, indecision candle but closed above the trend line. If you ask me, it is likely to resume its uptrend again. Right? So Nifty is looking bullish. The Bank Nifty is bullish. Booking, booking, look, looking bullish. This is the headline. And option chain tells you like really, really telling figures. Absolute bullishness. All the calls were unbound. More puts were added. 11 million puts added. 16 million puts gone. This is bullish. If you look at it, yesterday the PCR was su super bearish at around um, um, uh, 0 0.5. But today's PCR, that's Friday's PCR is 0 0.5. Today it has improved 0 0.7. That's a clean jump. And now we can see 17500 has emerged as a clean support, right? And the resistance is coming after 17800. So, um, so let me just write that down, right? Then, if you look at FIA data again, bullishness all around. They sold only 4k calls, but they sold 35k puts, which is very bullish. And the gap between the red and the green has decreased dramatically now massive bullish shine bullish side sorry i don't know why i'm slurring too much today uh, index futures is 1000 crores that is bullish again uh, stocks 300 crores that is very tiny let's not read too much into it right so net net what is it chart is looking bullish on both nifty and bank nifty option chain is looking bullish on both nifty and on nifty or pcr is looking bullish on nifty fia date option data is looking bullish on nifty futures data is looking bullish on nifty Stock data is neutral. If my verdict is that Nifty is likely to um, resume the trend uh, and I would say that if tomorrow you see this blue line also getting taken out and if there's a close about today's close tomorrow, you might want to consider going long for a big up. Now the question becomes what do you go long with, right? Uh, one, so no matter what you do, right, and this is important. See, there's a lot of uncertainty in the market. There could be some drawdown. There could be some drama like it happened. And I think Fed event is also coming up probably this week. The single 
biggest request I have for you is don't do it through short futures, right? Because it has a lot of negative, um, it can have a lot of negative impact and it will be a big uh, move for which if you have not kept the stop, you will be in trouble. Um, the second thing of course is that uh, you can't be selling naked puts because that also will have a huge drawdown if things go wrong. If I were you, I would do bull put spreads if you don't want to play with a high probability of profit or I'll do bull call spreads with a good RR. So let me do this right. So what's the trade you're trying to do? You're trying to do call spread. So let's try doing it with uh, strategy builder. So, so let's say you rule out the bear case, then you only have bullish strategies to pay, right? So if I'm looking at a big move, I can do a ratio back spread. So this has around 8k ka loss, but it has a loss of, but the problem, problem is, is ka break even is around 2% away. So I don't want to play this. Now let's do bull call spread, right? Bull call spread is pretty nice now. Uh, it can give you a risk reward of almost 1 is to 1. And if you're banking or betting on a big move, it can give you very handsome returns, right? Another thing you can do to enhance the return of this is, of course, make this slightly OTM. Now you can see your risk reward has improved 3 is to 2 instead of 1 is to 1. And 17,800 call spread is a pretty nice thing to do. The only thing I have against this call spread is that the open interest shows resistance at around 17,800. So maybe not, right? So I probably would stick to 17,600, 17,800 call spread. Now, if you want to make things more interesting, and if your hypothesis is that you are 17,800 to so then what you can do is again sell a 17,900 call and buy an 18. 1100 call or something just in case. So now you have a slightly bullish condor and this has a 1 is to 2 is to 1 risk reward right. In fact it gives you slightly more 2 point. So this is a slightly better thing compared to a call spread. So call spread gives you 5000 plus 4000 minus 1 is to 1 right. And if you do this condor but then the assumption here is that 17800 won't be broken but I'm not too confident of that because if you look at today's OI, 17800 had 1 million unwinds. So this is thoda gambling. So maybe let's not do that. 17900, so it will lose money only after 17900 by the way, not even at 17800. So 17900 pay, you are selling this and 18100 pay, you are covering this again. It gives a slightly better risk reward. That is instead of 1 is to 1, it gives you um, 4 is to 3, I mean rather 7 is to 3, but mm. I mean if you don't want to gamble on this, you can gamble on this, ultimately we are all gambling, let's not say that we are doing some you know, sophisticated mathematical stuff and all, nobody knows where the market will go, if you are trading, you are gambling, the whole trip is to be intelligent about it, right? there is nothing wrong with the gambling, it's wrong to gamble stupidly, it's very good to gamble if you are doing it smartly, I am not anti-gambling, I am for smart gambling, right? so you can see that this is one is to one. I would, I would, I would probably do this. The good thing is that if things go wrong, right? So let's say Nifty just corrects to one percent, right? You're only going to lose like twenty five hundred on this, so that's fine, right? Uh, so as long as market is in this mode, I'll not want to do naked puts or naked futures. I'll only do call spreads, right? One another thing you can do if you really want to be brave about it is you can buy seventeen six hundred call. Of course, it's a little expensive, and the loss is also you know, a little high, but it gives you a break even at 0.77% move. Uh, so that's like 17,750 is your break even. And if you look at open interest, you will see that 17,700 doesn't have much of a resistance. Uh, and if it goes to 17,800, you will make. No, this doesn't make sense, right? Because so this is why I suggest the call spread over the naked call. So in the naked call, if you're assuming that 17,800 is not going to break, the profit is only 4.5k, the loss is 7,900, right? So it's only a 1 is to 2 risk reward, I mean reward to risk. For every 1 rupee you bet, you might lose 2 rupees. But if you convert this into this, this one, right, it's much nicer because it's giving you 1 is to 1, the call spread. And if you're going with this, it is giving you even better. So net net my point is that if you think 17800 will hold, then it might not make sense to do a naked call. It makes much more sense to do a call spread 
or even a slightly bullish condor. But whatever it is, it does not make sense to short the futures or um, um, short the put or any of that, right? And finally, going to USD INR. USD INR, huh, very interesting. Um, it is consolidating above the uh, trend line and above the uh, 50 DMA. So maybe it still has some steam left. But the trend is not clear for me here. So I, I'm going to refrain from making any comments in USD INR not right now. But let me also see if what is Mr. Kite saying. Again, I'm going to, you know, I, I have nothing. I'm on kill switch. <laughs> so all my money is in a combination of GSEC, T-bill, etc. Uh, because I don't want to participate in this long rally simply because Thoda time is a critical factor. Yeah, if you look at it, you can see this, right? There has been a bullish engulfing and in domestic market, there's been two consolidations. So maybe USD has a little bit of upside, but then there's a bearish engulfing here. So, I mean, I don't want to take a view here. I'm going to pass dollar because Nifty and Bank Nifty give clean enough bullish trends, uh, right? So uh, Maggie is saying, Kills it sounds like I'm in rehab. Maggie, let me tell you this on YouTube. You can record it and put somewhere else, right? I am in rehab. That's why I have added Kilsich. Right? Dude, think about it. Like, I started trading when I was 25, right out of my first job in college, right? And I was not even doing, like, a small trading, right? I was always doing high stakes, like, you know. Uh, at one point, my <laughs> options trading book was anywhere between 500 million and 1 billion. So, I, they got me young, man. They got me young. I did not even have a chance to think through it and get out of it and make a good decision for myself. Before I turned 26, bloody, they put me on steroids, right? So, my brain is damaged with gambling. So, I, I can't get out of it now. So, I have put myself in rehab now. And that's why I have put the kill, kill switch. And it's it's good. Again. I mean, once in a while, you should do a, you know, one week, two week kill switch. It gives you a good perspective in life, right? Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm on record here. My God, if... if any of the brokers which we are working on <laughs> sees this, they're going to send people to shoot. <laughs> but what the heck, right? So, okay. So, that's our analysis for today. For So, my final takeaway, Bank Nifty uh, bullish, Nifty bullish, both of them are better played with strategies which have a risk reward greater than one, which is calls or call spreads or bullish condors, etc. Uh, I think the risk reward is much, much higher on the upside than the downside. Uh, no matter what you do, please don't play with futures or naked puts now because there might be some Fed event and all that and God knows what will happen when that plays out and there's a drawdown, right? Uh, so, yep, that is our Mifty um, um, uh, view for today. Uh, we'll see you. Thank you, Lone Warrior. I saw that comment. Thank you very much. So, so okay, that is our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank